What can doctors teach us about customer service? Hi, I'm Brian Pombo. Welcome back to Brian J. Pombo Live. Sent out every day live from Grants Pass, Oregon. Today, we're back in the blank office <laughs> in the new headquarters for Brian J. Pombo Live. And you can see behind me, I've got, uh, this is some of the, uh, bookshelves we haven't put together yet so we still got it in pieces i'm in my baseball cap and t-shirt because uh wednesdays are my day at home with the family so just doing odd jobs and looking after the kids and i wanted to talk about a conversation that i had earlier with my with my good friend jesse and i know he watches so he'll get to hear this uh and he'll remember the conversation because we were talking about who are who is, who is the one profession that nearly everybody trusts without even thinking about it? We'll do what they tell us to do, though they don't have the power of law behind them. They, uh, they just hold reign over everybody. And there's a whole bunch of reasons for that. I'm not going to get deeply into all of them. But there's one specific thing that they do that changes everything. Of course, I'm talking about doctors. It's in the title, right? We're talking about doctors. Doctors will tell us to do whatever to fix whatever problem we come to them with. And most people are going to go along with it. As long as it doesn't seem too difficult, too painful, we're all going to go along with it oftentimes, unless you're really a renegade and like to fight with your doctor or like to try alternative medicine, stuff like that. But in general, most people, most of the time, will take whatever pill their doctor tells them to, will do whatever procedure their doctor tells them to, as long as they can prevent pain, In for the most case. We don't go to the doctors to prevent disease. We just don't. It's not something we go and do. And this is why doctors have more pull over us than does a nutritionist or a fitness coach. In general, most of us are going to listen to the doctor a lot more than we will any of those other people. We may take their advice. We may ask them what they think about this and that. But it's not necessarily something that we're going to follow through with. With a doctor, you, there's an authority figure there that you feel like you have to follow along with, that you got to go along with. And there's the incentive of having a pain or an issue that you know needs to be fixed. Okay, so how's this, how's this draw back into business? How's this go back into everything that we talk about on a daily basis? Well, it all comes back to your business uh, with a concept called pr prescriptive selling. I don't remember who came up with it. I don't know who first talked about it, but you hear it talked about here and there. And that's the idea before you sell a product or service to your customers, having a way for them to go step by step to tell you what their problem is, to tell you what their issues are that your product or service solves. This creates trust because they don't feel like you're just selling them blankly something that you think they should want based on their demographic, based on their position, based on their career. Your solving a problem that they came to you with. This, this is very helpful. If you've got a website, for example, let's say you have a website that has many different products. Let's say you had a whole bunch of nutritional products. The best thing you can do is take a person through some type of survey. If nothing else, if it's, even if it's automated, having some form of survey where you can find out what they need and then prescribe them what you have going. People trust that more. The prescription is trusted so much more than a blanket sale. The blanket sale always comes off um, one-sided, comes off selfish, comes off as you're selling me something, like a person going door to door. It, you just feel like I'm just the next door in line. You don't really care about me. You don't really care about what my issues are. You're just going the next person in line. The more you can make it about the person, that's true customer service. The more you can make it about their problem, their specific problem, even if you have something that everyone has a problem for, even if you have something that literally everyone should own, you still need to bring the person in 
on the decision process. They'll trust you more. They'll feel like it's less of a sale. They'll believe in your product and, or service and use it more regularly based on that concept. This is if you're really looking for a long-term customer. If you're looking for a one-time customer, these, these concepts don't matter as much. But if you're looking for someone that wants to come back again and again and again to either get your service or sign up for a subscription and stay on the subscription to uh, purchase other products over and over and over again, that trust is built from the prescriptive sale. If you'd like to find out more ideas about this, if you're in the self-reliance field, which is an area that I play to quite a bit, and I'm finding out more and more people in the self-reliance field, you can find out more about that. Go to my uh, podcast, offthegridbiz.com. You can hear some examples of self-reliance companies and people that I've, I've worked with and have talked to and finding out more about self-reliance. You can also go to dreambizchat.com. If you're an owner, a business owner or executive, and you have products or services that help people to become more self-reliant, go to dreambizchat.com. There's also a link in the description. And if, you want, if you're not in that field, but you'd like to find out some more about me, maybe watch some more videos, maybe learn some more of these concepts, or find out how this could apply directly to your business, go to brianjpombo.com. And you're always welcome to come back tomorrow because we do these day after day after day after day, every day here on Brian J. Pombo Live. Tomorrow we'll be back here in the same spot bringing you another concept. And I'd love to hear some back and forth, so leave a comment down below. You have a great night and get out there and let the magic happen.